Welcome, my name is Susan Carlson, and let me introduce you to Sports Medicine International. Based in Atlanta, Georgia, we serve our domestic clients by locating international business partners for top quality sports medicine products in Europe. We serve as a bridge of communication and collaboration between our client company and their European supplier. Sports Medicine International was founded in 2005 by myself and four fellow Georgia Tech alumni. Fellow founder Chris Crenshaw and myself were both collegiate athletes who, throughout the duration of our career, relied on sports medicine to train and recuperate properly for our respective sports. In our final days as students at Georgia Tech, Chris and I began to investigate a change in the sports medicine market. Our research showed that the current domestic market was suffering along with the national economy, whereas international markets for sports medicine products and research were less affected. International markets seem to be an untapped resource. After I completed my degree in international business and Chris completed his degree in marketing in the spring of 2004, we decided to form a consulting company, attempting to bring international products and knowledge into the United States market. To complete our consulting company, we joined with two biomedical engineering majors, Jay Sika and Joey Delinsky, who would handle the technical and medical aspects of consulting. Our final founder, Deep Chakrabarti, serves as our marketing and advertising consultant. Together, the five of us set out to develop a business model to successfully draw sports medicine products to the United States and form beneficial relationships between European suppliers and domestic businesses. The first step was to determine what countries and regions had the best knowledge and products in sports medicine. Germany, France, Sweden, and Denmark seem to be hotspots for innovative solutions in sports training and rehabilitation. From my background in international business, I had experience working with companies in Germany and Sweden that allowed me to communicate effectively with businesses from this region. While I spent time traveling throughout the region, speaking with these international companies and creating working relationships, Chris and Deep were working in the United States to reach out to potential clients. Contacting sports rehabilitation centers, U.S. sports medicine companies, and even major sports teams at the professional and collegiate levels, they gauged interest in international products, forming a client base. During this time, Joey and Jay worked to build their knowledge on sports medicine and its products, as well as tracking both domestic and international research in the field. This included attending the International Sports Science and Sports Medicine Conference in 2006. After contracted, Joey and Jay would be responsible for ensuring that the international company's products met the technical and medical specifications of the client. Now, Sports Medicine International employs 16 additional technical communicators, translators, and junior consultants. We have successfully matched sports science centers, sports medicine distributors, and even a few collegiate athletic associations throughout the United States with top producers of equipment in Denmark, Germany, the Netherlands, and France. Thanks to the advertising and marketing campaigns led by DEEP, we have now had major contracts with companies within the United States because of our column in U.S. Physical Therapy Magazine. Our staff has seen a large increase due to the positive feedback from our publication and consulting experiences throughout the Southeast and Central Europe. In August of 2010, we received our biggest contract yet. Having started at Georgia Tech, it only seems fitting that Sports Medicine International has now been given the opportunity to work for the Institute's Athletic Association. Chris Crenshaw worked with the Director of Sports Medicine, Jay Shoup, on a deal that would place our company in charge of finding an international supplier of knee braces that would better suit the needs of Tech's football team. Through Chris and Dr. Shoup's collaboration, our company then moved the task throughout our staff to find the best international alternative for the knee brace Georgia Tech desired. The criteria of the new knee braces that Dr. Shoup wanted was relayed through Chris to me so that I could work with Joey and Jay to locate the best manufacturer for the knee braces. Comfort and quality were the two biggest priorities as his athletes needed the most mobility possible for their high contact sports. Price was also important, which is why we took measures to find the best price for these knee braces without sacrificing quality and comfort. After establishing the key necessities, I began to communicate with multiple Central European manufacturers. I decided our best options were found in two different companies, BSN Medical in Germany and Medical Industry Associations in Sweden. Joey began researching the medical components of the manufacturing process, and Jay looked into each of their equipment testing processes to ensure the product would be both made and suited for our clients. Jay consulted with their medical technicians to discover the ways they created the knee braces. By doing so, he could understand their resources and limitations and offer ideas to help fit the specifications set by Georgia Tech. 
Joey accompanied their testing directors to make sure that the knee braces would hold up in high contact scenarios while maintaining their comfort and stability. Joey and Jay each held a conference call with both companies to discuss their concerns and questions regarding the knee braces. They decided to choose BSN Medical out of Hamburg, Germany because the specifications of their knee braces guaranteed comfort. Chris and I then met with Jay Shoup and BSN Medical to communicate the specifics of a contract. We approached them with the contract in terms of our consulting process. We explained how payments and fees are handled with different plans and how cancellation procedures work. Final terms and conditions were agreed upon at this time and a formal contract was created and authorized by both parties. After the contract was finalized, a few specific BSN knee braces were chosen and supplied to Georgia Tech for further evaluation. Joey and Jay did a final device checkup on site, running through standard medical and technical device tests to ensure safety and functionality. Once completed, the athletes chose their favorite product and the delivery details were set. Today, Sports Medicine International maintains great relationships with Georgia Tech and BSN International, largely due to the successful consulting scenario we just described. Through the importance we place on obtaining our clients' goals and matching them with international suppliers, we are able to find the best alternative to the domestic marketplace. We believe that Sports Medicine International's impact in the physical therapy world will only better its rehabilitation and prevention programs by connecting domestic marketplaces with international suppliers. We hope that our company's consulting experience will benefit your business in the future.